Dot greetings, esteemed audience. It's a pleasure to have you all here once again. It's time for your regular update on global events and insightful analysis. Today, I have an intriguing development to share that has caused quite a stir within the royal family and beyond. Reports suggest that in his final strategic move, King Charles has made the decision to revoke the royal titles of Harry and Meghan, leading to unrest in Montecito. Sources claim that these titles will be bestowed upon Sir Timothy Lawrence, the husband of Princess Sane, who is widely regarded as the most loyal member of the monarchy. Now, let's delve into the implications of this symbolic action. Before we proceed with further details, I'd like to express my gratitude for your immense love and support. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button now and don't forget to activate the notification bell. Fantastic. Let's begin. The decision to strip Harry and Meghan, also known as the Sussexes, of their royal titles and grant them to Sir Timothy Lawrence holds significant meaning. It conveys a powerful message from the royal family, emphasizing the importance of loyalty and commitment to the crown. This move serves as a reminder that personal ambitions and a thirst for the spotlight should never overshadow one's dedication to serving the monarchy. Sir Timothy Lawrence has long been recognized as a loyal and unwavering member of the royal family. As the husband of Princess Anne, he has faithfully supported her in her royal duties and demonstrated steadfast devotion to the crown. His appointment to assume Harry's titles signifies the trust and confidence that King Charles and the wider royal family have placed in him. However, this decision has not been without controversy and has caused turmoil in Montecito, where Harry and Meghan currently reside. Stripping them of their royal titles carries symbolic weight and challenges their status as representatives of the royal family. It raises questions about their commitment to the monarchy and their desire to pursue independent ventures outside the traditional royal framework. While Harry and Meghan have sought financial independence and different paths for themselves, the royal family's decision to remove their titles highlights the inherent boundaries and expectations that come with being part of the monarchy. It serves as a reminder that privileges and responsibilities are interconnected, and individuals cannot selectively choose which aspects of the role they wish to uphold. Critics may argue that this action is punitive or an attempt to silence Harry and Meghan. However, it is crucial to acknowledge that this is a symbolic gesture intended to reinforce the values and principles of the monarchy. The royal family must maintain a unified and cohesive front, with loyalty and duty serving as their guiding principles. What are your thoughts on this news? Feel free to share your opinions in the comments section. I'm eager to hear your perspectives. Stay tuned for more captivating stories and intriguing revelations on our YouTube channel. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated on the latest news from the world of the royal family. Until then, thank you for watching. See you again with more fascinating updates about the royal family. Goodbye for now.